Now we'll start looking at how GPIO pins can be used to read signals from external peripherals that are connected to them. In the world of the Internet of Things, it is important to take readings from sensors, analyze those readings, and perform actions. As an example, if your sensor is a light sensor or a photoresistor, when it gets to a certain level of darkness, once this is detected by the Raspberry Pi, a command can be issued over your network to turn on lights in a room or your home. Again, we will start simple and will simply show how we can detect when a button is pressed. Let's look at what components we need for our project. First, we'll need the Raspberry Pi and of course the standard components that are associated with it, a breadboard, a push button switch and two pairs of female to male connecting wires. These are all the components that we'll need for this mini project.